I have a quick review question for you. Which economists believe that the economy is not self-regulating, classical or Keynesian? Keynesian economists believe that the economy will not self-adjust. Remember that this model arose from the evidence of the Great Depression when the global economy was in decline for an extended period. Because Keynesians do not believe that economic problems are going to take care of themselves, they conclude that the government should play a very active role in the economy. What kind of role? There are actually different tools that can be used to manage the economy, but let's start with fiscal policy. First of all, what is fiscal policy? By definition, fiscal policy is changes in government expenditures and taxation to achieve particular macroeconomic goals, that is, to achieve stable prices, low unemployment, and high and sustained growth. In a country like the United States, who is it that controls government spending and taxation? It's going to be our legislative and executive branches. Fiscal policy can be used to stimulate a sluggish economy or to slow down an economy that's moving too fast. Expansionary fiscal policy is typically represented by stimulus to the aggregate demand, although it certainly is possible to stimulate aggregate supply. Aggregate demand can be increased by either increasing government spending or decreasing taxes. Since aggregate demand is composed of consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports, an increase in government spending has a direct, immediate effect on aggregate demand. A tax cut, which will encourage spending on the part of households and businesses, has an indirect effect on aggregate demand as consumption and investment rise. Contractionary fiscal policy is typically represented by some type of drag on the aggregate demand, either decreasing government spending or increasing taxes. Again, a change in government spending will have a direct effect on aggregate demand, whereas a change in taxes will indirectly affect aggregate demand by way of households and businesses. Time to think. If you were a politician, which type of policy, expansionary or contractionary, would you like better? Well. If I were a politician and my primary objective was to get reelected to office, I'd want the policy that's more popular with the voters. After all, what will the voters like better? Tax cuts and more spending on their favorite programs, that is, expansionary policy, or higher taxes and cuts to their favorite programs, contractionary policy? Well, as a politician, I would prefer expansionary policy because voters prefer expansionary policy. The problem, though, is the effect that such a policy has on the nation's deficit and, in turn, its debt. The deficit is how much overspending there is in a single year. The debt is the accumulation of all the deficits we've ever run. Expansionary fiscal policy, lower taxes and or higher government spending, adds to our deficit and, in turn, our debt. When we get to taxes and budget in episode 28, we'll look at interest payments on the debt. Yes, for the government to engage in deficit spending, it must borrow, just like you do when you spend more money than you have, and then it has to pay back the loan with interest. And we'll look at the subsequent drag on the economy. So, expansionary fiscal policy, lower taxes and or higher spending, will increase aggregate demand. Contractionary policy, higher taxes and or lower government spending, will decrease aggregate demand. If fiscal policy is meant to address the three macroeconomic goals, when is each type of policy appropriate? Well, if there's a recessionary gap where the equilibrium GDP is lower than our potential, which also means that unemployment is higher than the natural rate, expansionary policy would be the appropriate response. As aggregate demand increases, the economy moves to full employment and potential GDP. If there's an inflationary gap where equilibrium GDP is higher than full employment level and unemployment is so low that it's likely to cause inflation, contractionary policy would be the appropriate response. As aggregate demand falls, the economy slows, bringing us back to potential output, the full employment level. A classical economist would probably ask, why not just wait for aggregate supply to move and allow it to correct the economy? If you do not believe that the economy will self-adjust, or even if you think that it may self-adjust, but only over a very long time, then you probably prefer a more active, hands-on policy to help things along. Next time, should we use fiscal policy?